Hickok 45 here and I don't want any spiders here I hate spiders I hate them a great deal guess how much I hate spiders except this one's outside and I suppose it would be rather arrogant of me to end his spider-like existence wouldn't it he has not done a thing to hurt me all right buddy here's the deal you stay outside and don't come in the house and we'll let you live and we will shoot a target instead how's that like a steel target i'm sure that vibrated his senses a little but... cowboy all right paper target a little bit <laughs> yeah, Hickok 45 with the X carry, a little chapter two action. You probably thought I sent it back already. I did not. I've been hanging on to it because I just knew I'd want to do a chapter two shoot it some more. And that's what I'm going to do right now. See that two liter? <laughs> uh, oh, a hog. All right, no more holes. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, this is a nice pistol. I bragged on it in uh, the original video. I'll link to that, and uh, which I usually do, folks, but you do know, I hope, how to search a YouTube channel, okay? You go to the person's, like, homepage or, and just plug in what you're looking for there. We have a FAQ video on that. FAQ video 54, in fact, shows you how to search, talks about how to search a YouTube channel. All right, let's load it up and shoot some more, okay? Yeah, this is just chapter two we're going to shoot. Uh, I, I like this pistol. I really do. And I was uh, being honest, as I always am, uh, uh, that I, I, I knew I wanted to shoot it some more, and I have been shooting it some. And I'm not be trying to become a pro with it. I've not shot it another thousand rounds since you saw me last with it. But I have had it out a couple of different times, and uh, I just like it. Uh, I like the feel of it. You know, we've got the uh, uh, the M17 here, full size and everything, and it feels really good, especially with the Talon grips. You know, that's what helps it so much. Uh, but you know, the slide's getting better. You know, y'all have been watching the videos on this. You know, it's 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 going into full battery mode. But I've never had any trouble with it. You know, operating. Uh, I like that firearm. But this one just, uh, boy, it fits your hands like a glove. It, it really does. Uh, I, there's nothing to not like about it. I like the trigger. I prefer the trigger on this one, that flat, uh, straight trigger. So it's just a shootable pistol. If you're thinking about one, uh, you know, I highly recommend it uh, if you like SIGs, too, unless you got something against SIGs, because it's very shootable. And I think I could even hit the gong with it, maybe. Try not to hit that tree. Yeah. All right, where am I going? There we go. <laughs> you just have to bear down and take a nice sight picture. Let's try that red plate over there on the left. Bing. Bing. Let's try the smaller red plate. Oh man, I'm going home. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay here and shoot some more. Because you know what I see down there? I see a wall. Ah, that same old wall. <laughs> I just finished blasting a hole in it, didn't I? I should be ashamed of myself. I'm sorry, Federal, we're putting all your ammo into a cinder block wall. And if I didn't say so, I do appreciate Federal supplying the food for this baby. And I have more of it. And yeah, we go through a lot of 9mm around here, uh, so we appreciate Federal. Uh, there was something else I was going to remind you of, but I forgot. So you'll have to remind me of it, okay? And then I'll remind you. I'm just going to shoot a little more. When I start blasting, I forget everything. I'm not even sure I remember my name. 
I wonder if I could hit that bowling pin with my weak hand. I doubt it. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm not really showing off. That's not that small a target, big target. One of the things that um, I, I mean to do, whether it's in a video or out of, of a video, outside a video, is to shoot with my weak hand, you know, uh, yeah, periodically, keep in, in uh, eh, shape with it, I guess, or whatever you want, want to say. Because, you know, I had a broken hand here for a while. Those have been around a while. I know I was one arm for a while there. And uh, that even happened to me before we started doing videos. Just, I guess it was about a year before we started doing this. I really uh, shattered this arm. Uh, you might see that, see the scar there. It's like I attempted to off myself, doesn't it? Uh, boy, they had to go in there and, and do a lot of surgery. I've got titanium pins and screws and bolts and all sorts of things in there. And uh, so I have been without this arm, uh, one of my arms, uh, you know, for... Uh, period of time at least twice in the last uh, decade and a half so it is good you don't know which hand it's going to happen to or arm so to shoot with both both hands it feels good and one of the things that brought to mind was this beaver tail as i was locking into that i thought you know that just felt so good and it helps if you're shooting weak handed uh, for me if i've got a pistol that i can just really lock into you know and there's something about the the grip and that beaver tail it just is really solid and uh, that helps too, I think, shooting weak-handed. So, uh, I don't know if that's worth anything to you. Probably not, right? <laughs> so, I, I, I guess I told you all you needed to know about it the first time around. I just want to shoot a little more. I wanted to invite you out here. I'm going to put a couple of these long mags in. And I'll shoot those and then maybe let you go. It's going to take all day. There's a bee. I know. Hey, I, I ought to shoot him. Uh, the X carry, you know, again, it's got kind of the, the, the shorter slide, mid-size slide, and then the full length uh, grip so that it holds a 17 round magazine or a 21 round mag, you know, so they've been known to use those, right? And, you know, you got your removable plate there, you replace the sight with an RMR pretty easily, got your tritium front sight, rear sights, it, uh, it, if you like SIG uh, and something other than a pocket, firearm again this is one you ought to look at because it it is nice uh, it, it really is I uh, I don't own one I own the compact and if uh, somebody were standing around uh, some gun buddies and somebody was looking to trade one of these and wanted my compact I would say hey yes let's trade <laughs> I'll pay you a little boot here okay today I would I, I'd like this this pistol all right Okay, I'll shoot a couple more rounds here. I don't know, let's put a couple more on the uh, wall. Well, yeah, a couple more. Looks like there's been another structure down there. That wouldn't have been the old uh, troll house, would it, John? <laughs> All right, let's put a couple more on it. <laughs> and we'll save most of it for another day. I see some steel here that needs to be addressed, like like all of it. How's that? <laughs> hey, that's fun. How about all of it again? <laughs> more ammo, quick, more ammo. Oh, that was empty. Good thing I'm not in a gunfight. That's fun. Uh, maybe I can hit that coffin over there. <coughs> Hilarious, huh? I did. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. Pretty cool. Pretty cool gun. Uh, again, I, 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 uh, I like to. Well, you know, we're honest with you. If we like something, we'll let you know. If we don't, we'll let you know. Most firearms. That's fine, excuse me spitting on myself most firearms have positives and they have negatives and that's what we do we try to do infomercials or bashing videos you know that neither of those really accomplishes anything uh, because most firearms have something <laughs> 
worthy about them. Now there are some out there that are made that have very, very little that's uh, worthy, you know, I guess, and I guess we don't review many of those. Or, uh, there, I mean, there are some old firearms that people laugh about, you know, that, that are unreliable and that kind of thing. It's like, why, why bother? But, uh, but most firearms, you know, they have to be safe to a certain point. They have to function to a certain point. Uh, because they're a firearm, uh, what's it like? A, a jackhammer or a, or a car, I mean, if it doesn't work at all, then, you know, why are you making it? And, it's, you know, it, it's going to be a huge scandal that you actually are making something that blows up the first time you shoot it or try to drive it or something, you know? So most of them will work. The biggest problems that we do see, don't we, with some firearms is that they're not reliable uh, to a level uh, that we would expect or uh, pieces wear uh, prematurely or even break or they're hard to shoot or the, maybe the sights fall off or you know things like that but generally they go bang when you pull the trigger right uh, and then of course you have the uh, uh, the money aspect uh, you know if you just cannot afford a three or four hundred dollar gun even then and all you can spend is 150 bucks or 200 bucks on a firearm then you're getting into a territory where maybe you're not going to find ultra reliability or long-term durability even who knows you know but uh but at any rate when you get up into three four five hundred dollars uh most firearms are going to work and they're going to work pretty well they just have some positives and, and negatives and it's our job to point those out to you at least from our perspective our opinion we have our own biases but but we do give you our opinion our honest opinion okay Nobody tells me what to think. Nobody even can make me think. I don't like to think too often, so nobody can even make me do it if I don't want to. But this this gun, uh, again, I'm, I'm very fond of it. Uh, and, oh, man, if I didn't have so many firearms already, pistols, I know that's terrible, isn't it? Uh, I'd be thinking about ordering one of these things. Uh, I, I, just, I just like it, okay? I really do. Or if I didn't have the M17, that's kind of my big SIG purchase of the year, uh, I would definitely uh, be thinking about one of these babies because that's, that's a nice pistol. It, it really is. At least this one is. And you know, we have not had, we've done uh, the first video, and the, I've shot it in between a fair amount. And now uh, this video, and uh, weak-handed, strong-handed, weak-minded, strong-minded, and uh, yet to have a malfunction, right? I don't, I don't remember any, any malfunctions. So, uh, yeah, that's always good, isn't it? And the slide even goes forward all the way into battery, even when you bring it in slowly. <laughs> uh, just for your information, I did, uh, before the video, I put the slide from the M17 on this frame and to see if it would work. I didn't shoot it, but it seems to work fine. Except it does the same thing. It's slow to go into battery. It wants to hold up just a little bit, just like it does on the original frame. So, being the genius I am, I told John, guess what I figured out? It's something about the slide, not the frame. Pretty smart, aren't I? So anyway, uh, I knew you wanted to know that. Now I'm going to shoot a blank, click. Uh, pretty cool gun. And uh, I'm glad you all came by today. Appreciate you all supporting the people that support us. You know who they all are. We've listed them and talked about them. And uh, uh, you know where our t-shirts are with Matt from Bunker Branding. Uh, hats and mugs and and uh, whatever else there uh you're welcome to any of that you know sorry i gotta pay for it but you're welcome to any of that <laughs> pretty nice of me huh such a great guy uh but we appreciate your support and coming out here in the woods with us because you know there's ticks out here it's kind of humid it's a little hot and you don't have to come really but but you do and uh we we appreciate it. we genuinely do really appreciate it life is good Oh hi! Since you guys are here, just you know, killing a little bit, little time. I've already seen this video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, while you're here, I want to remind you to please check out our friends over at SDI and TalonGunGrips.com. SDI is a fully accredited online distance learning program where you can become associated, get an associate's degree, and be associated with some good people. Get an associate's degree in firearms technology and get certified in gunsmithing. That's SDI. Dot edu and also Talon Grips um, makes grips for grip tape for lots of different types of handguns and other purposes. As you can see, 
right there. They have a lot of cool stuff over on their website. Go to TalonGunGrips.com. I think you'll be glad you checked that out and, and also SDI. So appreciate both of those people and support them if it makes sense for you, as we always ask. Um, also, since you're here, just want to further remind you that we do have a website. It's called Hickok45.com. That's H-I-C-K-O-K-4-5.com. Some people try to try to misspell it on us. Um, so go check that out. That's where you can find all kinds of things um, over there, like our social media, um, uh, the real Hickok45 on Instagram, Hickok45 on Twitter and Facebook. Um, I have an Instagram page, John underscore Hickok45. Um, let's see, our, our merchandise is on our website and also BunkerBranding.com. You can find it there too. And we have videos on GunStreamer now. So if you want to check that out, watch us somewhere other than YouTube. Uh, do that and also don't forget about our patreon page uh, we've got some good people over in the the gong club on our patreon page so if that's something you're interested in uh, check that out we, we uh, post videos over there occasionally they don't go on youtube or you, you get like an early look you know um, something like that so uh check that stuff out feel free to watch some other videos and uh, i gotta get back to my axe throwing here uh, because you know, if the apocalypse comes, you know all the all the Glocks and um, 1911s and SIGs and XDs and uh, uh, Walthers and uh, H and Ks might not be any ammo to shoot in those. So I might have to resort back to tools like this. So uh, I'll get back to my training and I'll let you guys get back to watching videos. Thank you.